Hello, everyone. Good evening. Welcome to the final uh, presentation ceremony of RYSI 2021. We've had a very strange year, uh, strange couple of years. We went online last year as well for obvious reasons and this year too. But last year we started in an okay situation and then the pandemic hit and uh, we had to change to online. This year we had, uh, we started very late. We started even after the event that we had the previous year in 2020, November. It wasn't before 2021, November that we actually launched this year's edition. And there's various reasons for that, the pandemic being the main one uh, and a possible partnership that we are having with CBSE for future Raman Awards. We thought it would get implemented for the 2021 year. Uh, all that took a long time to happen. So it's gotten implemented for the 2022 year. Some people may have heard of the CBSE Science Challenge and how that's going to, uh, people who participate in that can get nominated by their schools, a certain number, and automatically get into phase two of the Raman Awards. So there will be at least two phases for the finals uh, next year, participating via the Science Challenges, one of the uh, nice ways to say, skip out on the preliminary round and get straight into the uh, second phase where you pretty similar of submitting an innovation, maybe uh, submitting a quiz and things like that, details of which we are working out and you'll get to know uh, by April or so. In the meantime, we had two months of the contest uh, this year, even though we thought oh, two months we'll get uh, not as many entries, but we still had almost 2000 entries. So close to what we had the previous year, maybe 10 or 20% less. 93 of you got selected for the finals. Congratulations. Uh, I'd also like to thank, of course, uh, uh, my team members who've been there all day, uh, making sure things work quite smoothly online and uh, holding the ship afloat. Right? That was one of the themes today of, the, uh, of uh, fluids, for example. Lots of people work with density. So we also somehow kept ourselves at the float. Uh, and of course, I'd like to thank the Raman Research Institute Trust, which has always given us full freedom and all the blessings to conduct this event. It usually happens at Sir C. V. Raman's home uh, in Maleshwaram in Bangalore. Krishna Varaju is here from the RRI Trust. Uh, thank you, Krishna. Because of the pandemic and the shortened uh, nature of this uh, of this event, we were forced to also reduce the number of prizes we are able to give this year. So we apologize to the students for that. I hope it's not just the prizes that are motivating you to participate. I hope you've enjoyed the entire process of the preliminary phase, coming to the finals and having a day like today. And it's the making and the enjoying and the exploring of science, working with your hands, making something that works, that should be motivation enough. Uh, and we hope you're happy with that. But all of you are winners today in, in that sense of, uh, you know, exploring science and uh, even getting here through a pretty, very, very difficult preliminary phase as well. I just want to talk a little bit about the judges. Uh, they've been very, very uh, supportive as always and uh, have played a big role in making this event a success. So in the juniors, you had Swati Sarkar and uh, Dr. Rajguru, Dr. Shobhoshachi Chatterjee, and uh, Dr. Ravinder Baniyal. So three of them are astronomers, believe it or not. Uh, Shobhoshachi, Ravinder, and Rajguru are all uh, from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. Uh, uh, Ravinder and Rajguru are still very much there. Shobhoshachi is the retired uh, faculty from there. And they have a broad range and all kinds of things to do with astronomy, optics, mathematics, from solar physics to looking at stars, uh, uh, galaxies, uh, galactic nuclei, all kinds of hot topics in astronomy we are very excited by. And so they were there among the junior judges. And also there was Swati Sarkar, who's one of the most hands-on and fun people you'll meet. Uh, she works at Azim Premji University. She runs the math space there and works very closely with mathematics curriculum in various uh, state boards throughout the country. So basically remember to have fun and tweak around, but along with that also observe very carefully and record your observations. Those are what led to many great discoveries which benefited humanity quite a bit. I'm sure you have read some of those stories and who knows, maybe you will make one of those stories yourself someday. So keep playing, keep tinkering, keep tweaking, observing and recording.
among the intermediate judges, we were uh, very uh, lucky to have uh, Dr. DCV Malik, Pratip Malik. Uh, Dr. DCV Malik, again, retired faculty from Indian Institute of Astrophysics here in Bangalore, uh, had a uh, long history in teaching uh, students there, PhD students, running the joint astronomy program, working on uh, theoretical models to look at things like planetary nebulae, very interesting objects in the in the heavens when a plant, when a, uh, when a, when a star dies, it's one of the ways that it can end. So he used to look at those things, he used to uh, study interstellar medium and stellar evolution, how stars like us, they also are born and die and how that whole process happens. So that was part of his research. Later in his retired life, he got interested in history of science. He and Dr. Chatterjee was one of the uh, judges for the junior session. Both of them have even co-authored a biography. And guess, guess on who? On Sir K.S. Krishnan, who was uh, C.V. Raman's student and who made, who actually did the work in the lab and was with Sir C.V. Raman discovering the Raman effect, right? So, so they've written a biography of him together 10, 15 years ago that it came out. Uh, so if anyone wants to learn a little bit about the history of science in India, that would be a good book to look at. Uh, Malik and Chatterjee on uh, K.S. Krishnan as well. And uh, so thanks uh, for uh, having, uh, for being here, uh, Dr. Malik, and also Pratip, who's a faculty at Azim Premji University. He teaches physics to undergraduates uh, and uh, started uh, with the program as it started uh, four years ago, uh, five years ago at APU is when the undergraduate program started. And he's one of the first, uh, he was part of the initial team that uh, started teaching students at uh, APU. So he was there as uh, one of the judges as well. And then there were two more, uh, three more from the middle school as well. Uh, there was uh, Shekhar Surya Naranan, uh, a friend, a very close friend and teacher at the Valley School, which is Krishnamurti Foundation School here in Bangalore. He was accompanied by Ram Kumar Mahadevan, who was also now at Valley School, but was in, in the school, which is another Krishnamurti Foundation School in Chennai. He's been involved with education for more than 20 years. And before that, he has worked in the defense industry, in the Air Force. And of course, now he's been teaching science, maths, geography for a long time. Also in the intermediate group, we are very fortunate to have from Delhi Oxford University Press uh, uh, editor in science, Yusuf Ahmed Khan. And he uh, uh, edits a lot of the textbooks in Oxford University Press for science and computer science education. So he loves exploring the world around him, uh, working with children, and uh, loves the video of Austin's butterfly. Oh, thanks. Thanks so much, Prachita. I'll yeah. keep it short. I think thank you so much <laughs> for having. It's an honor to be uh, part of this initiative. And um, it's j just the sheer energy that all of you children you have brought in is amazing, right? So everybody is a winner. And I really want you to feel that. All of you just being here, just you have reached till this point, the fact that you have participated, you have tried various things and you have experimented, you have explored, you all of you are winners, truly winners, okay? You're all very inspiring. So thank you so much. Shekhar's also joined us at, uh, you know, he just comes to Panchwati and he used to be there, uh, enjoys uh, just tinkering and working with things. So we've spent many days doing that. And of course, at his uh, labs in Valley School as well. So moving on to the senior judges, uh, again, three out of the four of them are from the Indian Institute of Astrophysics. So we had uh, Moshmi, Dr. Moshmi Dash, we had uh, um, Dr. Ashok Pati and Dr. Jayant Murthy. Uh, so they're, uh, again, broad interest in astronomy. They worked on stars, they worked on galaxies. Uh, they've, uh, you know, they do a lot of observations, instrumentation, extremely good with their uh, hands and understanding how things like telescopes and various instruments that are used in astronomy work as well. So they have very broad interests and uh, broad scope in what they have done in their research. And they've always been very active in outreach, interacting with students, school, college, etc., in trying and taking science, astronomy, and popularizing it among uh, the general public. So thanks to the three of them for being here. And of course, Shashi, who is here from NCBS, from the National Center for Biological Studies. Uh, Shashi Tutupalli, who's, been, who's done one or two uh, Raman Awards as well uh, with us before. So Shashi, thanks a lot. Uh, so, research interests like, like, uh, lie in things like organization of living systems, 
synthetic mimic. So it's very appropriate for the biology kind of theme that was there for the seniors today. Uh, and uh, very, very happy to have you have him here from the National Center of Biological uh, Studies here in, in uh, Bangalore. All right. Uh, that, so I've been here every uh, every year. Of course, uh, this year, and I, I, if I remember right, the last year have been a little unusual. But uh, it's good to see so many students participate. And uh, the only uh, thing I would like to say is that uh, I, I do hope that the students uh, uh, go a little further into the uh, the details of what uh, of of what's happening. You know, science is fascinating. The body is fascinating, which was the topic of today's uh, session. And uh, even, even though my biology was uh, 40 years ago, I, I, I think it's good to know how, uh, how, the, how the lungs work, how the heart works, and how the stomach works. And, and it helps keep us all healthier. So do go a little further into, into the, the uh, basics of the experiments that you've done today. So it was a pleasure for me to participate and uh, I hope to do so for years to come. Children, the participants always find it a great honor to uh, be with such distinguished scientists, teachers, people who've been in education, who've been in research, who've been in science for their entire lifetimes. Yeah, so think about it. You guys are just starting out. Uh, you could of course choose any career of your choice. As you can see, even scientists choose uh, going to education or engineering or various fields, but there's much more opportunities for you as children. You can become a historian, you can become an English uh, uh, literature person, you can get into sports, you can get into climbing mountains, whatever that takes your fancy. But do it with passion and always observe nature around you, uh, observe the phenomena around you and try to understand uh, what you observe. It will make things even more joyful and fun for you. So uh, now coming to the crux and the climax of the uh, presentation, I'd like to uh, go over the uh, awardees, starting with the juniors. And uh, as I said, there'll be one runner up and one winner. So the runner up for the juniors. So just to let people know the theme that was given, I mean, the topic that was given to the juniors like the last two times has been a series of three experiments and they have to choose one of them uh, to explore make variations of so we don't go so much into the theory and the explanation aspect for them and don't give them a broad topic but specific activities that they have to choose one of them and make a variation of them so there were three activities that were given this time one was a lotus leaf model where you have a leaf and you put wax or vaseline on it and see that it actually you know, gets rid of the water and doesn't sink, it stays floating. So that kind of explains why lotus leaves, you know, always seem to be floating and they don't uh, sink. The other one was to do with testing of any item, food item, for example, with iodine to see if it has starch in it. So we call that the food starch test. So that was another activity that was there. And the third was blowing uh, through a straw which is cut at one end and they behave like two reeds that vibrate. So the straw oboe is what we call it. Oboe because it has two reeds that are vibrating. A flute has no reeds. An oboe has two reeds that vibrates. So that's why we name it the straw oboe. But our winner today uh, for making a model of the straw oboe and exploring it is Madhura SS. And she's called it the easy peasy one rupee straw flute. That's what she's named her activity. Thank you. I'm very happy that I won this year. I was hoping for it. And I truly enjoyed making many variations of the straw obo today. And I'd Thank seen this video Sylvia. earlier in one of Arvind Gupta sir's videos and in Think Tech. I had done this many times. In fact, this week uh, I was giving one of them to my friend. The winner of the RYSI Junior 2021 award is uh, Prisha Date, who has made super detective starch iodine. So she worked on the food test of uh, starch using iodine, and the uh, judges were extremely happy uh, with her, uh, with her explanation and her experimentation. Thanks to all the judges and teachers for organizing this such a beautiful competition. And it was, a, I enjoyed a lot in this competition. And uh, I was 
I like to participate uh, in this competition. Moving on to the intermediate category, we have uh, a runner-up, uh, Nikshep Raman. And he worked on density and buoyancy today. Yeah, thanks a lot to everyone involved in organizing this. And I really think it's a beautiful idea and execution of being able to foster science and the interest in all these things in students. And they just, it's a really good way to foster creativity and imagination among everyone in the younger ages. The winner of the intermediate category RYSI uh, 2021 award is uh, Tilak Bhimrajka for how do submarines achieve the right depth was the name of his innovation. Uh, so thank you, sir, for like, hosting this competition and it was a beautiful experience. So before I thought like, uh, I thought that I wasn't going to do it good this time and maybe it wasn't going to happen, but I'm really surprised that I came first this time. Last time I was the runner up, but this time it, it feels really good to be in the first place. Thank you for this competition. So I forgot to mention that uh, for the intermediate category, the theme that was given to them is uh, was fluids. So they could work on anything related to fluid flow, pressure, viscosity, density, buoyancy, any of these very, very interesting uh, uh, features in, in physics. So from the senior category, the senior theme that was given was animal uh, processes in animals, uh, particular organ systems. So we were focusing on three, the respiratory system, circulatory system, and the digestive system. So there was uh, several activities in each of them. One of the most popular was uh, something that a lot of you would have seen, uh, the, you know, the moving of the diaphragm and how balloons expand inside. It's a lung diaphragm model. It's quite a common activity. Uh, I heard from the judges that, you know, more than 70% of the children attempted that activity. Uh, so it's not a surprise that both the winners have uh, maybe not too much in the innovation, but their explanation, communication, and uh, the variations they did on this particular activity is what impressed the judges. So both have uh, both kind of worked on this idea. And the runner up uh, is none other than Ritika Joshi. Science of breathing and lung scarring is an aspect that she studied. This is actually my first time here, so I really was looking forward to it. I enjoyed it since the preliminary rounds, and I was not expecting to come here. So it was a good experience from the start. So thank you so much for organizing it. I really enjoyed it. We move on to announcing the final award of the night, and that is Again, as I said, a similar model. This time it goes to Anusha Neogi, constricted respiratory tract. Consequences of a constricted respiratory tract is what she named her uh, activity. This is actually my first time uh, participating. And uh, I really enjoyed this experience. And I thought that it really helped me be more creative as I could really use my own creativity instead of Googling things. So it was a lot of fun. and. I'm just so surprised that I won something for the first time. So thank you so much. The judges talked a lot about a lot of the experiments, which is why it took so much time. Uh, the fact that you're able to come here and uh, make these activities already means a lot to not only you, but also your family, friends. And I hope that inspires you to keep doing more, exploring science, exploring hands-on activities. And as I said, looking at nature and things around you in a more inquisitive questioning way. Uh, I liked what all the three uh, judges, the words they spoke, uh, uh, Swati talked about observations, Jayant talked about going into, uh, you know, things in a more deep way to understand how things work fundamentally. Shekhar also uh, spoke about how all of you are, uh, you know, uh, uh, winners in that sense and uh, uh, should uh, do science for the enjoyment of science, not necessarily because there's a certificate or a prize or an award at the end of it, right? So that's the kind of space that Ram Awards tries to create. We want this kind of bug to be there with you uh, for life, where you explore science in a hands-on way. On behalf of the Trust, we'd like to thank all your uh, team members and the students and everything for doing uh, this year. <coughs> On uh, again in non-physical mode, we 
hope to see the physical activity next year. Okay, uh, everyone. Uh, wonderful 2021 RISI award is over and we will start in a bigger, better way 2022 uh, in a month or so when all the details will be up. In partnership with the CBSC uh, for with, uh, via the science challenge is one of the ways of entering or you can enter directly into phase one and uh, uh, get into phase two uh, after getting through phase one. So all those details will be up in a few weeks. And uh, till then, enjoy yourself and uh, see you soon. Hey, what are you doing? Let me know what it is.